Hey you guys, Lissandro here and today I want to make an um, update blog and this is the first of its class that I ever do and mainly because uh, it, it's an idea that I have gotten from other YouTubers and the idea is uh, pretty much uh, do, do kind of a recap of what I'm going to be covering on the next couple of months or so or maybe just this month or or what has happened uh, recently or, or things like that and I may do this um, this update blog like every month it's a monthly blog um, maybe the last day of the month or prior to that uh, it, it, it will vary in reality or whenever uh, I'll do another type of update blog but that's just like uh, like certain events that have occurred or anything like that but anyway uh, this is going to be a monthly blog but uh, enough of that so uh, what I'm going to be covering uh, in the next couple of months so um, one thing that um, one thing foremost and uh, this is a recommendation that I see to a lot of YouTubers um, get um, a tablet no and I'm not talking about like touchscreen tablets or anything like that it's good to uh, use and everything but I I'm talking about um, getting an actual tablet an actual uh, um, writing tablet where you pen and uh, pen and paper uh, type of tablet and the reason why is that a lot of the times and this has happened to me a lot um, I get a lot of ideas uh, that's mainly the reason why I'm able to persistently do a lot of YouTube videos why I haven't run out of topics or run into the quote unquote writer's block it, it writer's block is not only affects writers it also affects like producers and that's essentially what you are you're you're a producer at your own uh, video themes but the reason why I say get a tablet uh, is because um, a tablet, a notebook, better yet said, is because uh, a lot of the times you, you may be out and about doing something or you're at work or you're doing uh, something else and along comes an idea and uh, you think you, you might remember later on but what happens is that other things tend to get out of the way and everything and uh, what happens with that is that um, because of that you, later on you might not remember or you, you might remember just bits and pieces and not get the whole picture of wh what the idea was so I recommend that just uh, get it a notebook and pen and paper write down your ideas and everything uh, now it, it's not that I have anything against like cell phones or uh, touch screen notebook tablets, but the thing is that uh, it gives an issue that I deal with. Uh, I deal with my mobile phone and, and everything, and uh, one of the main issues I deal with my mobile phone is is the fact that um, I constantly have to reboot it or um, or constantly have to reinstall things and, and issues like that. And the reason why is because. Um, uh, I have a lot of I install tons of apps on my my phone and it, and the thing is that I want a device that's able to handle a lot of things that wanted to be my office uh, uh, my um, gaming system blog and everything else it all in one but the thing is that uh, I, I, I have issues with some programs that uh, affect others and things like that or um, other system problems that uh, that I deal with. It's it's a lot of a lot of data process. But anyway, uh, aside from all that and everything, which is gonna be the main topics that this blog is gonna be about, is um, first of all, lately I've been watching a lot of uh, this. Uh, I, I'm not sure if you can call it a reality TV series and. This is among the very few reality TV series that I watch, because in reality, to be honest, there's a lot of uh, uh, the whole genre of reality TV. I don't like it except for a couple of couple of them, which is like uh, 
Shark Tank and Undercover Boss, things that uh, point out a certain interest. And the reason I like Shark, uh, Shark Tank is because I learned a lot of stuff. You learn a lot of things in the business world. I'm involved in the uh, business world. Why? Because um, I usually uh, usually manage stuff um, with a uh, business, uh, with my boss's business, um, my current business, and also uh, a, a new business I'm starting to uh, planning to launch in my own residence, which is targeted to U of H students, gamers, and a bunch of uh, people in the U of H community. Okay, but anyway, uh, getting back to the point, uh, I've been watching this, and uh, there's a lot of topics I'm going to cover, like the uh, certain aspects in business, like margins, uh, the mistakes people make, and everything, because there's a lot of mistakes that people make when they go on the TV show. And um, also, uh, I'm, uh, I'm also going to cover like scammers and things like that. Um, another topic, and, and, and I'm getting another idea right now. Uh, uh, another uh, topic I'm going to cover is uh, the whole field of communication. Now, this is a diff an entirely different topic. Um, so... Uh, the reason I want to cover communication is that there's, uh, over the course of 10 years that I've been communicating with people, debating, um, conversing about different topics, especially controversial topics, and especially today, is because there's a lot of people who do not know how to reason, do not, who do not know how to uh, interpret things, they um, buy into a lot of bullshit, they buy into a lot of crap and uh, everything like that. and. The deal is that there's a lot of people that don't understand the, uh, the mistakes they make in communication. Okay, and uh, and anyway, uh, that's so already told you about sh uh, short thing, the uh, communication, everything. And, and before I continue, uh, I get getting back to the whole deal with the uh, business world and everything. Uh, the, a lot of the things that I cover in Shark Tank, it, it has to deal with uh, me a lot because uh, one of the jobs that I have, I'm um, an investor. I deal, uh, deal with commodity stocks uh, and, and all sorts of different investments and everything. Even though I have like years doing this, I'm still an amateur at it. Um, I'm not too, uh, I'm not that good at it, but I'm not too bad either, so it, it, it really gets me by apart, apart from the other jobs I have. But anyway, moving on, uh, another thing I want to talk about is uh, the whole topic of Kyantia. Now, unfortunately, I had to fire um, five of um, um, break ties with five of my investors for personal reasons and because of that uh, I'm forced to make a lot of decisions a lot of changes that's also another business venture that I have uh, apart from it being a, a, a psychological economic sociological uh, project that I plan to launch and actually do thorough studies that uh, um, and uh, I plan to later on when all the finances are settled and everything actually bring professionals in to evaluate uh, the behavior of people in a, a soci sociological sense. Um, not just in sociology, psychology, but economics and, and, and other factors, uh, criminology. Um, the reason why is because, uh, let me give you an example. If you have a, if you have a, a world, uh, my, uh, and it's Minecraft that I'm doing. If you have a world in which you have a bunch of people and you have, you're have given resources and everything, uh, you'll see a bunch of things. Uh, for starters, if you have an economy uh, set, uh, set up, uh, you'll see people that go out and mine. That's synonymous in the real world to people who go out and work for a living, uh, uh, look for jobs and things like that. Um, the um, the economy systems kind of like a stock market and things like that. Uh, there's people barter and trade and everything, but a, a, apart from that, there's you're also gonna have like griefers, uh, a lot of scammers, uh, hackers, and uh, shit like that. 
And that's synonymous to like a lot of the criminals, a lot of the, uh, uh, a lot of the crime world, the black market, and things like that. Why? Because um, even though uh, they might grieve, and these guys might actually trade stolen goods and things like that, and and and, and on the server and everything, yeah, it'll be allowed. But uh, the idea is to experiment uh, uh, with a lot of different settings and. Uh, and social groups and things like that. So that's the whole idea behind uh, this social, economic, psychological uh, experiment. So anyway, moving along, uh, the, another topic that uh, that I'm going to um, be covering the next couple of months. Uh, um, well, actually, this is not a topic at all. This is more like an announcement um, because of the fact that uh, my voice actor is is on hiatus right now because uh, he, he has a lot going on and everything. Uh, I'm, una I'm unable to uh, continue the Stitcher and Alloy animated series, so what uh, I have planned to do is make another animated series completely disconnected, well, which will eventually converge with the other one, but won't, won't uh, participate that much on a lot of the events that go on in Stitcher and Alloy. It, instead it will have its individual parallel story, a uh, storyline. And the last thing I want to talk, uh, talk about is that um, I watch a lot of Thunderfoot's videos uh, and all, and the thing is that um, the deal is that um, he, he wants a lot of um, a lot of bullshit science claims and everything and uh, I'm gonna pretty much be doing the same but uh, one of the main ones that I want to start off in is is the whole topic of free energy uh, in reality uh, I believe that there's a lot of people that make a lot of like, bullshit claims and everything that's pretty much what uh, Thunderfoot's doing but uh, I, I want to start off focusing on the whole free, free energy aspect because what they do is that there's a lot of them that pretty much scam people and believing this whole ideology of free energy and a lot of them are completely ignorant of um, on the scientific aspect of it and uh, what I want to talk about uh, 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 say before I continue, I had a friend of mine that uh, believed in the same nonsense. I used to believe this whole deal of free energy, but as I moved along and everything and started learning more in regards to physics, chemistry, uh, astrophysics, things like that, uh, I started no uh, noticing that it's less likely to happen. The only thing that it approaches a little bit is the whole, uh, whole deal with superconductivity. And even that has its own uh, own flaws, which um, which doesn't doesn't exactly qualify as free energy. And a lot of the times, I um, I consider that what they call free energy is actually conserved energy, or actually uh, a high efficiency energy, because you're always going to have some sort of loss and. That's something a, a friend of mine that I used to have didn't understand, and and we and we usually got arguments and fights over this uh, whole topic and everything. But anyway, um, that's all I'm gonna cover in on this blog, uh, this uh, this monthly blog, uh, and uh, I guess this is all for now. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and. I don't have to repeat myself, but please pledge to my Patreon, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.